What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp new feature tutorial. So in today's video, I wanted to talk about a new kind of feature that's being rolled out right now in the 3D warehouse. So this feature allows you to go in and make adjustments to different objects in the warehouse and they'll parametrically adjust based on the the settings that you select. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so this is based on a post that got posted in the SketchUp community, I believe yesterday, where they talk about a new kind of SketchUp object called Live Components. And so if you click on that post, um, it's gonna give you more information about those objects. And so basically what they said is that they're introducing a new kind of object called a Live Component. So Trimble has acquired a program that basically specialized in computational design and they've built that into a tool where you can start making more parametric objects directly within the 3D warehouse. And so what this means is this means that you can adjust things like the size of shelves, other things like that, and things will dynamically adjust. So it's a much more visual way of creating things than working with the dynamic components before. I'm really excited to kind of kind of test this out. So the other thing that I wanted to point out that I thought was interesting is that they're also rolling out a new program called SketchUp Labs. So sometimes with a new feature, it can be valuable to the community even though it's not done. And so this is their way of releasing that to the community to both get feedback and testing while also making it available as a tool. This is the first tool available in that program. Um, and they definitely recommend that you go into this um, you go into this forum post and leave any comments or any questions or things that you'd like to see as a part of the tool. So I will link to all of this in the notes down below. So now let's talk a little bit about the live components. And so at the moment, the live components are tools that have been added by the SketchUp labs themselves inside of the 3D warehouse. At the moment, you cannot build your own live objects or live components, but in the future, they have said that they're planning on making that available. At the moment, they're focusing on developing more pre-built components, and then they're working on that solution to allow people to create their own live components. So how do you find them? So you can click on this link in the post down below to sort for all of the live components on the 3D warehouse, or at the moment, since they're all from SketchUp Labs, you can also just go find SketchUp Labs on the warehouse. And so let's take a look at a couple of these. So these are objects that have been added by SketchUp themselves. So you've got things like storefront, single pane windows, um, all sorts of different things that you can adjust in here. But let's go ahead and let's select something like this storefront system, because um, that's something I waste a lot of time on modeling myself. And so what you have to do is you have to be logged in, but then if you click on this button right here for configure live component, what that's gonna do is that's gonna allow you to come in here and make changes to that component. So that's gonna load up the editor and notice how this editor has a 3D space where you can preview what this object is gonna look like as well as different tools over here on the right hand side that allow you to make adjustments to different things. So for example, you can make an adjustment to the entire width of this storefront system. So if you needed to create a storefront system that was a certain length, you could use the sliders in order to do that. Same thing with the height, you can adjust that with the sliders or by typing a value. Note that at the moment, some of these, I believe, so at the moment, these are all kind of limited, meaning you can only go up to a certain height. Um, so you do have to work within those constraints right now. I have no idea if they're planning on changing that or not. Um, but you can also change things like your frame width. So that'll adjust the thickness of the frame around the outside, as well as the number of window units that are contained in here. So you can see how you can adjust all these different things in order to make your object look the way that you want it to look. You can adjust things like number of mullions. Um, you can also adjust mullion positioning. So at the moment, I find this fairly easy to use. And so when you make all of these changes, you can adjust things like colors and all of that. And when you're done, you just click on download. When you download this, what that's gonna do is that's gonna download a SketchUp file that you can then bring into SketchUp. So if I was to open up SketchUp, then I could just drag, drag this object into SketchUp. So you can see how this allowed me to build the storefront system really quickly. So instead of having to come in here and model out all of these different mullions, do a whole lot of push pulling, other things like that, I was able to build it completely in this system. And so as far as I know, these are not editable once you bring them in. Like I don't think you can adjust them like with the dynamic components, for example. Um, once you kind of bake them inside of the 3D warehouse, they seem to be set. So you're gonna wanna build them in the 3D warehouse the way that you want 
and then just bring them in. But there's other options in here that are interesting as well. So things like this park bench, you know, you can take this park bench and you can adjust it. You can make it either a straight bench and you can adjust the length. You can kind of adjust what that profile does. And you can also make it a curved bench. And so with the curved bench, you can set things like your radius and also the percentage of rotation and if the seats are on the inside and the outside. So you can use this to create different things like that as well. And then you just bring that down into SketchUp. So one of the ones that I think is really promising is the wood framed wall. So if I go back to the SketchUp Labs page, there's a tool down below for a wood framed wall. And so the wood frame wall allows you to actually create a framed wall with spacing and openings and doors and other things like that. Now you are a little bit limited in the sense that you can only put like one wall, one door um, in the wall, but you can see how these things are adjusting dynamically. You can adjust things like your stud spacing, other things like that, as well as your head heights for your doors and windows. Um, these are fairly adjustable, which is really nice. And again, you know, it might get a little bit complicated. There's not really a way to create like a curved wall or anything like that. Not that you create a lot of curved walls anyway um, in real life, but I mean, you are limited to the parameters that are over here, but even those parameters allow you to make these changes really quickly. So I'm really excited to see where they can go with some of the more practical applications. So one thing I would absolutely love to see, um, I'm gonna go ahead and download this, but one thing but one thing I would absolutely love to see is more objects like this one down at the bottom for different kinds of cabinets and other things like that. I absolutely hate modeling out cabinets. It just takes up so much time just for something that kind of sits in the background. So if in the future we could actually see like a live component library of cabinets where you could make adjustments and just kind of get what you need, you know, I'd like to see some more options in here, obviously, but it would be really nice to have a library of cabinets in here that you could just adjust and just make your cabinets without having to worry about going through and modeling all of this stuff. So I think long-term, this could be a really exciting addition to SketchUp. All right, so go give these a try in the 3D warehouse. I would love to hear what you think, but I'd, I'd also like to see you go leave a comment on that forum post and just let them know what you like about this, what you'd like to see in the future. So as always, be polite. It's always good to have discussion, but also to understand that they can't give us everything that we want all the time. But at the same time, you're not gonna get if you don't ask. So make sure you check these out and go post in that forum post. Um, if you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.